The time had finally come. Our feet had reached peak itchiness. The Canadian wind was howling with chaos and snow. Our travel bags whispered seductively from the closet by the door, begging to endure some more abuse from the overhead compartment of any airplane that would get us the hell out of the Ontario winter. The promise of sunshine and adventure was plenty more than what was needed for us to buy tickets and head to Olivia's former home country of Nicaragua. The fact that she hadn't been there in over six years meant that for her, the approaching trip was duly exciting. For me, my mind was cashing in precious sleep time in lieu of the excitement, expanding each day leading up to the trip into what felt like weeks of sheer agony. But finally we made it, and after two short days of travel, the peaky textured landscape of Nicaragua came into view. Here, sandwiched between Honduras and Costa Rica, we would spend the next two weeks reuniting, familiarizing, and exploring all the things that turned my lovely girlfriend into the Olivia we know today. So put on your track pants and grab a snack, and welcome back to Vaughn's World. Welcome to Nicaragua. We just got here yesterday after spending a night in Texas and uh, everything so far very smooth. Border security, customs, like no problem at all. Super friendly, super nice spot. First impressions, really uh, sweet people. Lots of barbecue smells, lots of animals and critters and creatures. Um, it's hot, even though this is considered their winter. It's crazy hot, it's humid but it's manageable. It's not like Taiwan in the summer, for example. It's like really quite lovely here and manageable. I don't really have any like groundbreaking thoughts for you because I haven't been here very long, but I can tell you that we're gonna go see a bunch of stuff. We're gonna go to a bunch of places and see stuff and eat things and meet people and, and it's gonna be great. And it's gonna take place over the next 14 days. So keep watching, stay tuned for that. This is a little different for me. I haven't been anywhere close to this country um, and I, I'm, it's going to take a couple days to, to get over that initial hurdle when you get to a new country before I really can formulate things to even say about it because right now this has all been complete bullshit. And so <laughs> There's a squirrel throwing down these like miniature avocados but he's having a good time, he's up there, he's chilling. He's white, too. I hope I can get him on film for you because it's a white squirrel, which is strange as well. We're just surrounded by nature. There's like critters all over the place. There's mosquitoes currently eating us. There's uh, things in the trees and birds and noises and it's pretty great. We're here for 14 days and over the course of 14 days, uh, we're gonna go to a bunch of places that I can't remember right now. And, uh, and it's good. It's good to be traveling again, finally. Welcome back. The Vaughn's world. If you haven't been here before, then uh, you might not like it. You might. You might love it. You might subscribe even. You might hit like. You can always take the like back. Yeah, it should be good. This is where Olivia's from. She was born in Taiwan but raised here, right? Correct. Yeah, so that's interesting. She's gonna show me around, translate a bunch of stuff for me, and we're gonna just uh, do what we do here and kind of roam around without any real goal or plan and eat food and try the beer and the cigars and see things and talk to people and do stuff and check out the monkeys and look at the birds and whatever, stuff like that. Anyway, speaking of the places we're gonna go, um, 
I'll try and show you on Google Maps here. Right there, this is Nicaragua. From our travel hub, which is Olivia's mother's home in Managua, we'll be traveling to all the greatest hits, including Leon, Granada, San Jorge, Ometepe, Laguna de Pollo, Miramar, and Messiah. First thing we did was jump in a car with Olivia's dad Rudolfo and his son and wife and drove to get a taste of the former capital of Nicaragua, Leon, founded in 1510 and known for having one of the oldest universities in Central America. But along the way we stopped to eat some quesillas, which are basically melted cheese and onion fillings in a corn tortilla rolled up and sucked through a hole in the bottom of a bag. Talk about the perfect snack. Shortly after, we spotted a group of men stacking bricks into a flatbed truck in the beating midday sun, so we stopped to have a chat. Is it your business? Su negocio. Negocio, sí. Es suyo. Family business? Es de la familia. Negocio de familia? Negocio de familia. Yeah. Okay, so his father. And Su papá. No, hermano. Hermanos. Su padre no, ya, ya muerto. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So yeah. him and his siblings. Okay. Yeah. Is it, solo hermano nada más. Is it a, it's a good business? Es buen negocio. ¿Cómo le va el negocio? Siempre los negocios, usted sabe que... Eh, si, si no hay ventaja de ganancia, mejor uno se para, yeah, no trabaja. Sí, pero siempre, pero va... siempre te genera, te genera la, la comida. La okay, comida. enough for food. Yeah. And then, you know, businesses, if it's not enough, if it doesn't feed, feed you, he would have stopped. Oh, right, yeah, that, yeah. that makes sense. Ya comiendo uno está tranquilo. Yeah, once you have food, you can calm down, you can be peaceful. Sí, mi familia, no. Ah, so, su familia, no, Mi familia, eh, sí. de hogar, ¿verdad? Yeah, his family yo, small, yo aquí so trabajo, three people. Yo trabajo solo aquí en este lugarcito. So I work here alone, hermano, in this little place. And my brother is over there. Allá. They live. Pero viven sí, en sí, Maja, sí, cerca. Independiente, pero but el independiente. mismo terreno. Yeah, so they live in the same land, his brothers, but separately, but in the same land. Dueño los oh, tres, okay. dueño los tres. Yeah, there were the three of us are owners. Okay. And these bricks, they're for houses or roads? Or? Y estos son para las calles o para casas. ¿Para qué son, son estos? Construcción. Para permite, construcción. Permite. For construction. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I see, I see. Just like this. Yeah. Ah. And so where does the clay come from? ¿Y the... de dónde viene el material? Oh, de... Tierra. Tierra sí. traída de lugares, pero escogida así la tierra. Right, para, so para hacer el... Specific lands where he yeah. they have picked, they have no to go choose it. Yeah. Not yeah. any land, it has to be a chosen land that oh, they have okay. to taken care of. Pero no está aquí esta tierra. No. Van a... eh, estaba cerca, estaba cerca, pero sí. ahora como ya se ha sustraído bastante, yeah. entonces se va alargando, va alargando. It ya. used to be close, but they've taken a lot of it, ya so now they have to go farther. Oh. En la finca ya las venden, la, la venden mm -hmm. la finca. Mm -hmm. lo, porque tiene mucha área de terreno, sí, claro. entonces vende yeah. área, vende por área. Yeah, some farmers have so much land, they will like oh. let you do dig in certain areas of their land. Muy interesante. Gracias. <laughs> okay, muchas gracias. Okay, me la voy a Un placer. Okay, igualmente. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, so this is like the, uh, the hippie, sleepy surf town version um, of Nicaragua. Totally different than Managua. Uh, it's called Leon. There's just so much to look at. Like, every building is just, they're all just these beautiful old buildings. Check out this one behind me here. And down at the very end, you can see the cathedral. We'll head over there after this. We're just kind of walking around looking for Olivia's old house. She used to live in here, live in Leon for I think four years and so she's gonna give me a good guided tour of her old town. But so far it looks like a pretty great place to live to be honest. How is it? You're gonna like it. Yeah? Just, you know, there's a little pit in the center. Oh, salty. If you added salt? Mm -hmm. They kind of taste exactly what I think they would. <laughs> like kind of like unripe grapes, a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're good, they're tarty. Mm -hmm. I could eat those all day. Green mangoes with salt and chili. Okay. Green mangoes with salt and chili, as she said. It tastes mostly salt and chili. Yeah. It's good, the texture is like... So crunchy, like uh, Yummy cucumber? texture, yeah. Yeah. Like a cucumber. high school in elementary school actually, I guess and I actually went there <laughs> for a couple years it's called La Asuncion La Asuncion the Asuncion um, yeah I don't know when I came here it was mostly uh, women like students female girls and they were just opening it to like guys as well but yeah <laughs> views are insane. This place is insane. It's just so friggin' beautiful. Look behind me here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in in a sec. There's the mountain and then on either side of the street all the way down are just these beautiful colonial homes. And this is Olivia's old school. And this is the square and there's the cathedral behind us. And then uh, in all these little streets it's just markets and food vendors and what have you. And there's just so much more to explore. Like I'm just looking now and down past this treacherous looking jumping castle, there's like alleyways and the buildings just continue. Like 360 degrees everywhere you look is just you know, such a beautiful sight. The plants and like everything, it's insane. What a place to go to school. the kind of place you see in movies. Troubled writers looking to get lost but end up finding love. Living off of fruit and cigarettes, lounging in white satin sheets until the need for more rum arises. Everything was at its own pace, not fast, not slow, just enough time to think in between. A taste of Leon is not enough. It's a place we'll be visiting again. It deserves its own vacation without the camera. We met some of Olivia's extended family and they were as lovely and as colorful as the place they live. Eventually, the sun yawned and rolled over and it was time to head back to Managua to prepare for the following week's busy adventure. back in uh, Managua. We just got back home from Leon, as you know. And, um, you know, everyone, <laughs> the experience is hard to describe. 
Everyone's super friendly, the food is super good. I know that's a lame way to describe my experience. I'm out of practice. I haven't made these videos in a while, as you can probably surmise. My, um, my preconceived illusion of Nicaragua continues to shatter. It's, uh, it's lovely here. I mean, Leon was just amazing. It could have been Spain almost. It's, uh, I don't know. But anyway, the plan right now is to go hang out with some of Olivia's old friends. And so we're going to do that. I'm going to leave the camera at home. I'll have my phone, so I'll try to take some video for you, but, um, Nothing crazy, just a good dinner with some more good people. Oh. Yeah, anyway, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. next episode, we'll take a tuk-tuk to visit a local market to pick up a little food poisoning before heading to Granada to find cigars and a bus to Ometepe Island, where we'll find a terrible hostel and then the hostel of your dreams. We'll rent a scooter, get lost, and make friends with some four-legged friends. It's all coming up, so subscribe and tune in next week. Thanks for watching. See you next time, folks.